The band U2 has been together a long time now and over the years has played in all kinds of places, including in Sarajevo, a dozen years ago in a region still healing from war. Well, the band was determined to help then and to make a lasting connection with fans. Last week, for the first time, U2 returned to the region, this time to Zagreb, and found that the connection was still strong and with one young woman in particular. NBC's Martin Fletcher has the story. U2 back in the Balkans. Two sold out concerts in Zagreb on the latest world tour. It has special meaning for them. And for a young woman in the audience of 70,000, she'll never forget Bono and the band. Alma Qatar survived the siege of Sarajevo, four years under Serb artillery and snipers. Your apartment was hit every day? Yeah, every day, with the bullets. But they were before... The... And nobody was hurt? No. We just go to the bathroom and just come back. She was 12 then, when you 2 broadcast interviews with Sarajevans while they were being shelled during their concerts. We'll never see many of our friends. They are gone forever. You 2 gave us the voice. And we became like the center of the attention. Europe was in stasis, didn't know how to respond to what was going on at its edge, which was this genocide. And we used our show as an opportunity to broadcast to our audience what was happening. Night is falling everywhere, rockets at the funfair. You too see their music above all as a great night's rock and more. It all comes down to, as I was saying earlier, the human heart and the human spirit. And, and the music is, you know, can thaw the hardest hearts yes. and, and keeps the spirit supple. I love you, I love Sarajevo. Alma starred in an anti-war documentary called Miss Sarajevo and an ambition grew to thank you to herself, which she did when they played in Sarajevo two years after the war. Enemies, Serbs, Muslims, Croats, let you two thaw their hearts. People were singing and crying and dancing and shouting and jumping all together. You two music united us. The current tour is spectacular. Alma was delirious. Will but you meet were... them again tonight? Hopefully. But little hope in a stadium full of fans. After the show at 1 a.m., we spoke to the band. They were tired but hyped, celebrating Edge's birthday, rock style. His birthday started in Poland, That's right. and <laughs> burned down several small towns in France, and then um, came Finally, to Zagreb. My fellow bandmates actually get great value out of my birthday. One love, get to share it. But it wasn't the birthday boy who got the best present. It was Alma, with a little pull from NBC. Hi, Alma. Hi. It's you. You do recognize me. Alma Fetcher, NBC News, Zagreb, Croatia.